Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. Today we're talking about Six Flags Discovery Kingdom and about the removal of three of their attractions. Now we are going to talk about one particular site in a little detail but talk about a big site in more detail later in this video which you know for me I think if you're a Discovery Kingdom fan, be very excited in my opinion. Now before we get started, make sure you do like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Also guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now guys, let's have a look at exactly what is going on at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom with the removal of three of their attractions. So, according to Reddit, say goodbye to Tasmanian Devil, Voodoo, and Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster. Now, while Voodoo isn't related to the 15, in terms of talking about the 15 attractions across the Six Flags chain that they're planning to remove, um, Tasmanian Devil was actually about to reopen from maintenance when COVID hit, and Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster was already confirmed to be one of the 15. Now, a big thing to mention here um, is that Voodoo had some technical malfunctions a few years back. Tasmanian Devil, um, like I said, was about to reopen from maintenance. It had suffered some maintenance problems a few years ago. Uh, then COVID hit, and now it's gone, along with Voodoo and the Crazy Coaster. I believe Seaside Tours is gone as well, or could be on the verge of going, as far as I know, um, which is a little extra attraction as well. But this opens the gap for potential development. Now, I'm going to talk about um, the Tasmanian Devil and Voodoo replacement uh, in a lot more detail. Then I'm going to quickly mention about Crazy Coaster in my analysis as well. But let's focus on the first two attractions and what this does for a specific site with a few other things in store for removal in my opinion so let's have a look at that site right about now there you are on your screen ladies and gentlemen thrill six of all ages that my friends is the site in question now this site this very particular site um is it is, it is where Tasmanian Devil and Voodoo sit. And of course, there is some other things in there as well. Uh, a couple of little arenas, the Dolphin Harbour being one of them. Um, Seaside Tours is somewhere in that site as well. Um, so you can see it's quite a big site. And the reason why I've highlighted that site in particular is because I think this is the site for the next major development at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Now, whether I think that's 2023 or 2024, um, is that's another that for me is another story, um, but what I do believe personally, what I do believe is um, I feel like there's only one replacement for this whole site. Now you might have already guessed it. I think it's an RMC single rail roller coaster. I think this is a prime site for a single rail. I think that a single rail would absolutely suit Discovery Kingdom. I think it would be a brilliant addition to the park. I think it would be a welcome addition, something like a Jersey Devil style layout. Uh, not a complete clone of Jersey Devil. But sort of like, look at Wonder Woman flight of coverage, uh, coverage at uh, Magic Mountain for this year. That's a slightly different layout to Jersey Devil, like slight alterations here and there. Something like that would work very, very well here at Discovery Kingdom. And I think it could give them um, something nice. Now, obviously, it would have to be quite different to Wonder Woman at Magic Mountain, as Magic Mountain and Discovery Kingdom are both California theme parks. So, for me, obviously, you know, Magic Mountain's in one part of California, Discovery Kingdom's in another part of California. So, for me, it's got to be, you know, different layouts completely for me. It does it, it, For me, this one can't be a slight alteration. Uh, looking back, it can't be a slight alteration. It has to be significant changes, whether that's shorter, um, um, sort of smaller in height than Jersey Devil, whether it just breaks one record, you know, make it stand out in a different way to what Wonder Woman does for Magic Mountain, you know, maybe have the Discovery Kingdom one with the most inversions, or maybe have 
um, this one with a, a well first element or something like that. Um, I think that's a it's truly one way of looking at it. Um, but then let's quickly talk about the other site in question, which is of course the Crazy Coast site. So this is the Crazy Coast site on your screen now, find Abby Dozy. And uh, you can see it's not big enough for a coaster replacement. Yeah, I can, I can say that for a fact. So for me, what do I see going in here? I see a couple of family rides, or maybe even a new thrill ride going into here. Now what type of thrill ride, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll leave that for you guys to decide, but I see maybe a, a compact thrill ride, or a couple of family attra attractions or kids attractions, going into this spot. I think that would be a nice welcome change to the site. We know that Crazy Coast is going. There is uh, reports, according to Reddit, and of course out there in, at the moment, the Crazy Coaster hasn't been scrapped, so it looks like it could be sold to another park, either in or out the Six Flags chain. But now let's speak about my thoughts on the ride removals and the exciting future of Discovery Kingdom I think the ride removals paid the way for. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of all ages. That is speaking about the Discovery Kingdom ride removals. Now, the Tasmanian Devil and Voodoo replacements, for me, is a big, big positive. I think that a single roller coaster in that site looks, for me, visibly, dead set. I think you could just see a single roller coaster on that site. I think that's the one kind of coaster I could see on that site. Um, Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster, like I said, thrill ride or family rides, so something like that. Maybe theme it to Harley Quinn, you know, to pay homage to the Crazy Coaster theme. Um, so I think there's different possibilities. Um, I think it's just a case of what possibility the park go down with. So... I think it opens up a lot of discussions. There's still a lot of questions that need to be answered, but I think 2023 or 2024 could be a very exciting year for um, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in terms of new attractions or a big new major attraction. Um, I feel like that it opens up a lot of possibilities for that site, and I think that, like I said, a single roll could be a great addition, especially if it's completely different to Wonder Woman Flight of Courage at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and you have a completely different layout, and it breaks a record that Magic Mountains doesn't break, uh, set it apart from the other one. Uh, that would be the way to go forward for me if you're going to invest in a single rail for this site and I think the single rail for me is the only kind of investment I would see on that site um, So if you're a Discovery Kingdom fan beware for an exciting time ahead in my opinion. That's just me personally uh, But there we are guys. Thank you very very much for this video Make sure you do like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions Subscribe if you're new around here click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video and for now guys My Miss Coast shall keep on the coast alive and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon Take care, guys. Have a discovery tastic. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape. Go, go, go.